All right, we all love digiscoping, right? It's just something that we've all started to do. Whether we're hunting, scouting, or just out glassing, we love to throw our phones or a GoPro or an iPad up on our spotting scope, our binoculars, and video what we're looking at through our optics. But the question is, which system is best? Let's talk about that today. All right guys, there's a lot of options out there for digiscoping kits. There's a lot of different brands and there's new ones that seem to be coming out every single year. Whether it's the tried and true phone scope, as you all know, phone scope has been a partner of ours on eHunter for a very long time, or the new brands like MagView or All In, there's a lot that are popping up. And the question is, which one's best? Which one should you go with? And so, you know, phone scope is one that I've used for a very long time. It's my tried and true. In fact, I've been using them basically since the inception of phone scope. I've loved it, have a lot of great footage that I videoed through my spotting scopes and binoculars with a phone scope. But with the new brands coming out, it's like, okay, which one should I get or should I change? Should I stay with what I've been doing for a long time or should I go to something new and different and possibly better? So what we're gonna talk about today, and before we go into the field, let's talk about the details of the system. So today I'm gonna compare PhoneScope and MagView and talk about the difference between the two, which one's better, which one should you choose. And I'm gonna do a very unbiased opinion on which one should you choose if you're buying a new system or looking to upgrade your system. Now, before we go into the field, let's jump on the iPad and let's look at the details of each of these systems. All right, we're gonna start with PhoneScope. And like I said, PhoneScope is the one that I have been using for a long time and have absolutely loved it. Got a lot of great footage through my PhoneScope. And I've actually been playing on here a little bit, so it might have some of my information in, but we'll get you kind of the general idea of how to go in and get you a phone scope ordered. So in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and select shop. And then we're gonna to go to this phone scope builder on the left hand side. And it does have my stuff already in there, but basically it's gonna bring you to this page. You're gonna pick phone or GoPro. I'm gonna go ahead and click phone, which brand, I'm gonna do Apple. And we're gonna go ahead and do with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's not what I have, but sounds fun. The next thing it's gonna bring you to is the optic that you're gonna use. And so you can already see my optics in there, but we're gonna start again. So it's gonna have you choose a type. I'm gonna do spotting scope just because that's mainly what I use to do my digiscoping. Of course, vortex. And then which optic that you're using. So I use the Razer HD 85 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that and it's gonna bring up your kit for your whatever phone and optic that you use. So yours may look a little bit different than this, cost may be a little bit different, but basically for my kit, it's gonna be about $108 for the phone case and the adapter specific to my spotting scope. So really not too bad for what you're getting. Again, this is an amazing kit and fits perfectly to your device, fits perfectly to your optic, and it's really, really hard to beat. And so $108 for the entire kit, Great kit, love it. Now let's switch over and talk about the MagView. So I'm gonna go, again, I've been kind of playing around in here. So we'll go back to the home page. We'll go to their products page, click into clarity is what it says. And so they have a, just a few different products. So whereas in PhoneScope, there's a specific product for every specific phone, specific adapters for all your optics. MagView is a simpler process in that they have the S1 spotting scope adapter, and I'll show it to you here in a second, and then the B1 binocular adapter, which goes to all of your binoculars, and then of course the phone cases, or not the phone cases, but the phone plates. So there's a phone plate that can stick onto anything, and then there's also the wireless charging phone plate. That's not the one I have. I have the original one, but we'll talk through all of them. So say we wanted to do similar to what we did with the phone scope. I'm gonna go ahead and look for a spotting scope adapter the spotting scope adapter is $169. We'll go ahead and add that to our cart. Let's go back to our products. So now we've got the adapter in there. Let's go ahead and get the, the foam plate. I'll just go ahead and do the one that doesn't have the wireless charging, albeit most phones do it that way. We definitely need this. It's sold in packs of three, so you get three of these. Oh, they're out of stock, so I can't, so I can't add it to my cart. Let's go back here and see if they have the wireless ones. 
Okay, so same thing, $14.99 out of stock. These ones are better sold individually. So you only get one of these versus you get three under the ones that aren't wireless charging. So for the adapter is $170 plus 15. For the plate or plates, you know, you're looking at $185 for the kit. So definitely more expensive. But is that more expensive worth it? And that's a very important question because we all know today, in today's world, things are tight, money's tight. And so we wanna make sure that when we are spending money, we're getting the most bang for our buck. So here's the phone scope adapter. Your phone fits perfectly into it. You basically throw that on your, adapt, on your spotting scope or on your binoculars, fits perfectly to the spotting scope and you can start videoing. The MagU, so again, I said, I don't have the wireless charging one, so I have a separate case that I use. So when I'm going hunting, I'll throw my phone in this case and use it for digiscoping when I'm out and about. And then when I get back to camp or whatever, and I'm charging my phone. In fact, actually, when I go to camp, I'll just charge it with the, the wired charging. But I don't have my personal phone case that I normally have because it's a wireless charging one. But Regardless, it works well. And so, like I said, with the phone scope, you basically just throw it on the optic and it, you kind of have to line it up a little bit, but for the most part, you throw it on there and it's pretty, where, pretty well where it needs to be and you can start recording. The MagView, and I'll just use, for example, I've got my spotting scope here and I do have the MagView attachment on there. And like I said, they're universal. So there's kind of a one size fits all. So you buy the one adapter and it'll go on most every spotting scope. There's just an Allen key here. You put it on, you tighten that Allen key. There is some little shims in there that you can use and then it'll fit on all of them. Same with the binoculars. I don't have the binoculars here, but it's over there. And I've got the B1 adapter and same thing. You just use an Allen key, tighten it up against your binoculars and it holds it in place. And then with the magnet on the back, you can go ahead and throw it on there and line it up and start videoing. Let's go on the field and let's actually try these out. And, and let me show you how they actually work in real life. All right, guys, we made it out here to my family's property just so I can show you how these two products work. Before we jump into actually using them in the phone, in the spotting scope, let's talk about a couple things. Some of the things I like and I don't like between the two. So again, phone scope is what I've used for a very long time. It's tried and true. It's a great phone case. It protects your phone, things like that. But a couple things that I don't like about it. One of the things is you have to use this case. And again, it does protect your phone on this side, but it's not a full encompassing case and so if you're worried about protecting your phone while you're out hunting it does leave a lot of it exposed the other thing that i don't like is when you have your phone in this i just leave my phone in the case the entire time the problem is you have this adapter on there so what's in your pocket it looks like you got this big round circle in your pocket it's not the most comfortable thing to use and so those are a couple of the downfalls with this case the mag view is great because you can use whatever case you want this magnet goes on to any case it just sticks on again there are the wireless charging ones and so if you want to get a case that's more protective you can use that and then put this stick this to that case and it's it's great it's also nice and comfortable in your pocket so it's just like your normal phone case so it's not a not a really big deal one of the issues that i have with the MagView is you have to use the MagView app which is easy i mean it can keep you can keep it on your phone your home screen and it, it's super easy but the nice thing about phone scope is you can just use your normal camera app and be able to swipe it on your iPhone and start videoing or taking pictures pretty quickly. So that's some pros and cons to these. Let's start with the phone scope. I'm gonna take my MagView stuff off of here, throw the phone scope on and show you how it looks inside. All right guys, so here I am videoing through my phone scope. I just got it on the hillside over there, not really looking at anything specific. And you can kind of, you know, move it around here a little bit and, and look at whatever you want. So it is pretty nice just to get out there a ways. I'm looking at about five, 600 yards right there. So super clear and you know, and you can zoom your phone in too. Let me come down a little bit. So we're looking at the ground. Sorry about the shakiness there. That is one thing that when you're videoing through here, it, it could get a little shaky as you're adjusting the tripod it so make sure that you got it pretty steady when you're recording but yeah you can you can zoom in on here you can also use the zoom of the actual optic and and get in there so phone scope's great again this is just videoing through my camera app 
on my iPhone, which really makes it nice. All right, back to the mag view. So again, I already talked about the pros and cons with the mag view, and I've still got my phone down in my phone scope case. But um, as far as comfortability in your pocket and just feeling like your normal phone, this is definitely the way to go for that. Um, you will have to download the app and use the app, and I'll show you that. But um, that's really the biggest downfall with this, and just making sure you get it lined up. So. Let me throw my phone in here and we'll show you how it works with the magnets on the actual spotting scope. All right, so now I'm videoing through the MagView app and it's a little bit hard to get it set up. You gotta make sure you're in the right way, in the right spot, and then the lighting is a little bit different. It's not as easy to use as the, the camera app on your device, but once you get it set, and you do have to use the focus on your spotting scope or your binoculars to adjust it to, to make it look good but once you get it all set up it really is pretty easy to use and again it just snaps right on there super easy I'll go ahead and just take it off here and kind of show you what it looks like when you're trying to put it on so you have your system set up there with your magnet and your objective lens and then you just line it up here as it's as you're going and it'll just snap into place there and then you can kind of adjust it to where you need it to get the best clarity. Again, that's where phone scope's gonna be a little bit easier. You just throw it on there and start recording. So that's what it looks like in each of the apps. So I guess the question comes down to which one do you want? And like I said, they both have their pros and cons, whether you want it to be easier to use, more efficient to use, whether you want it for comfortability, it's really kind of up to you. For me, I still pick the phone scope. I just like being able to throw it on there. It's super easy. It works for me. I can still use the normal covers for my optics. I don't have to worry about that, especially binoculars. I didn't bring my binoculars with me to show you the B1 adapter for the MagView, but it just makes it very easy to throw the phone scope on there. MagView's great, don't get me wrong. It does a great job. If that's what you have and that's what you love, fantastic. Use it, it's great. It's gonna do what you need. As long as you're out digiscoping and watching animals, that's really the most important part. Try to get your uh, you know, your kill shots on film and whatnot with, with these, it's great. You don't have to buy a fancy camera really anymore. I mean, you can, but you can really use this digiscoping, these digiscoping tools to be able to video and, and do some awesome things through the optics that you already have for hunting. Guys, we appreciate you supporting us here at eHunter. Make sure and like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Which one do you like better? Are you more of a MagView guy? Are you a phone scope guy? Have you tried the all in and you love that? Let us know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Thanks, guys.